And what makes this day even more poignant is that in this district, as we unveil, showcase uh, the Vietnam War Memorial, uh, is the fact that there are a number of Vietnamese, Americans, who are living in our city, who along with American men and women who died, Vietnamese who died along with them, and who fled their country to be right here, and who have given so much to this city. And it recognizes that we can be diverse, but being diverse and stopping there is not enough. It's important for us to be diverse and inclusive at the same time. And when I look out into this audience, when I look out into the audience, the sacrifice of men and women during the Vietnam War is showing the fruits of those sacrifices by the diversity and the inclusivity that exists and live in our city in our restaurants, our businesses, our colleges, and our universities, all throughout our city. You will see folk who fled their country, who are here working right alongside with everybody who are native Houstonians. That's the beauty of our city, and that's what's so poignant about what we are doing today. So I wanna thank you for being here. It's an honor to be a part of the first memorial dedicated by the city of Houston. And on this day, we honor 543 service members from the Houston and surrounding areas who were killed in action during the Vietnam conflict. And the council member was right. When these veterans came back home, they were not greeted with parades and banners and uh, uh, with all of the accolades that one would expect. But a grateful country recognizes where it went wrong and a grateful country does everything itself to correct what it should have done years ago. And today in this city, we lift up every single person that sacrificed was in Vietnam, whether they came back or not, we lift them up and we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you to each and every one. Thank you, you can do better than that. Let's Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. À, ngày hôm nay Lily rất là hân hạnh để thấy tham dự cái buổi lễ ngày hôm nay của lại bên tại vì ngày hôm nay là cái ngày mà người ta nhớ tới những người veteran ở trong Việt Nam đã đánh giặc ở bên Việt Nam và có những cái mộ bia và trong đó có những tướng tá của mình ở trong đó nữa thành ra rất là honor để tới tham dự ngày hôm nay và không bao giờ Lily sẽ miss được cái ngày hôm nay hết cảm ơn quý vị trên đài à, Apple TV nhưng thật là ngày vui cái chuyện này anh Sidak Sidak Cao đã làm gần 2020 sau vấn đề đó thì ba uh, người những người Việt Nam mình dính vào thì uh, so far cái ngày hôm nay rất là ngày cái là trọng đại tức là nghe nó hôm nay là mình có phần bắn uh, bắn bắn, uh, bắn uh, cái là chào này đây cảm ơn mình the uh, part of this uh, memorial uh, monument service is a very important for our community event what you will see here today will be a monument that truly tells the Houston story, okay? You will see a monument that pays honor and respect to those that we lost. You will also see a monument that speaks about the men and women who were able to make it home, who did not get a proper thank you you did not get a proper, we appreciate your sacrifice. You did not get a proper, we love you and we value you. And we want to ensure that we provide you every opportunity to be a success because of what you did for this country. Myself, my office, along with the Terrace 20 board, and a special shout out to David Hawes and his leadership. My father, my godfather, Ronnie Evans, who's here, who served in the Army in the Vietnam War. This is an inspiration that they put forth that now we're able to not only 
show Houston, but it will be a symbol to all people who come and visit our great city that we respect, we pay tribute, and we give honor to all those who served in the Vietnam War. And we also want to give tribute to the Vietnamese community, those who stood by our side, those who have been allies through this entire fight, those who made their way to Houston, those who then started a life here in Houston, their story, their sacrifice, their pride, and their American dream is going to be also realized in this monument. So we're getting towards the end of this program. We definitely want to highlight and unveil this memorial. But before we do, we will have a 21-gun salute presented by the American Legion Harrisburg Post 472 Honor Guard, followed by TAPS, played by Senior Airman Angela Hawks Johnson. And we'll also have my Chief of Staff, Paul Young, who will come and give directions on how we will convene and make our way to the monument. Good afternoon. I want to thank the mayor for the comments. And I also want to thank the city councilman and his chief of staff for reaching out to our office. I just want to share one experience. In my early years in, in the Navy, I received an order, my orders, to next uh, to the station. And they had special training in my office. I thought they made a mistake, but they didn't. I went through my special training, then I reported forward to my next command. And once I reported forward, in two weeks, we went out there in the woods, uh, jungle warfare type things. But I must say, I can imagine my comrade out there in Vietnam in the woods for years. And I just about get you for, for one month. I just to say one thing. I thank you for your service. I recognize you. You're my brothers and sisters to the heart. And now I'd like to rec uh, recognize all the veterans from Vietnam area stand on both sides of the house. All veterans. So in 2017, Congress decided to set aside a day every year where we take a moment to honor those who went to Vietnam. Some returned, some didn't, and some are still there mentally. So March 29th, every year, you can count on the city of Houston to have a ceremony to honor those who served in Vietnam. So again, for the Vietnam veterans, thank you all um, for, for being here today. And for the family members, Judge Marshall, I remember having a conversation with you when I first met you. And you said that you would write letters to your dad. And you remember his APO number, his APO address in 2023, you still remember. So thank you for your, your father's service. Um, and he's not here. So thank you for being here and your, and your uh, dad's honor. occasion. Let us stop and reflect 
about the service, the men and women, the Vietnam War, the men and women who have served our country, the men and women who are serving our country. We owe a debt of gratitude to each of them. This memorial that you see behind me, I want it to be used as not only a thank you to our Vietnam veterans, but used as education. So all those going forward will know their sacrifice, will know their story, will be able to read what they went through for us to have the freedoms that we have today. They were never given a proper welcome home. Many were met with harsh critique, disrespect. But today, they will get their proper welcome home. Today, they will get their proper thank you. And without further ado, we're gonna count down from five. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Hey. Hey. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Look right here.